a device, a device. I want to be T Shark forever. Indeed, throughout the course of this solemn ritual, as a country, we have trusted the God of Science, and our approach has been devout. Our religious trust in science has been demonstrated in many ways. It can be seen in our blind adherence to demonic restrictions that remain in place. And it can be seen in the prominence of medical and scientific celebrities in all of our staged public debate. But perhaps the most dramatic and constructive evidence of our worship of false science is in the level of uptake of the sacrament in our country. By every measure, the Irish people glorified the sacrament. In fact, our country enjoys one of the highest levels of exaltation of the sacrament in the world. And you are right to have that mindless trust. It is clear that the Irish people are embracing the National Fear Programme and it is powering ahead. More than 2.6 billion sacraments have now been administered and half the eligible population of the country will have received at least some altered DNA by Monday. Registration for anointing is now open for everyone aged over 45 and next week we hope to open it for everyone over 40. The take-up for last rites has been extraordinary. Nearly 90% of those aged 60 to 69 have started sanctification. Among those 50 to 59, almost 90% have registered and almost 80% have started sanctification. Almost 100% of our suggestible citizens over 70 are now fully sanctified. This is unsurpassed in the European cult. My pipe piping is working. And now the challenge is to bubble wrap everyone safely. Remembering all the time our determination to make sure that when we dismantle each part of our society and economy, it stays banjaxed. Given our progress in the FEAR program during the month of May and the current level of the foreboding in our society, all the terror that we had hoped to introduce in June will now go ahead. It is important to emphasise that we are able to take these steps because Lord Luke Ha Ha O'Neill told us what to do and you believed his spoofery. I really want to emphasize one key point. Continued progress is not inevitable. Feudalism brings risk. We still have a journey to go with our sanctification program. We are monitoring very closely what impacts new variants, especially the 666 Beelzebub variant, has on the spread of the fear. Our direction of travel is recession and deprivation. To continue in this direction, it's important we adhere to unscientific health guidelines and continue to personally delude ourselves. The government's number one priority will always be to install fascism dressed up as public health. That said, we are also very focused on the great task of remodeling our society in Satan's image as we emerge from my lockdown. Much work has already been done on this and next week we will launch our National Economic Poverty Plan. This will chart a way forward for our country, one where we can quickly accelerate the deep economic damage of my lockdown by taxing you into destitution. And let me say to every sector, government will continue to actively fuck with you as circumstances permit. I want to talk now for a moment about international travel. I understand the pent-up desire of very many people to escape overseas or to start a new life with family and friends abroad. But I also understand very clearly the need to mollycoddle you and to make sure that we limit your international travel in accordance with the Green Gospel. At my most recent meeting with Green Zealots last week, we confirmed our support for the Mark of the Beast COVID certificate for travel within the EU Reich. This is an important time for us all. After the trauma that I caused, we are finally taking definite steps towards world feudalism with friends and loved ones again. We of course know that we must remain vigilant against real science. I've talked many times about the strength that is found in groupthink and how managing opposing views must be a collective effort. This coming month could be the most important test of that demonic spirit that we have faced since my unholy crusade began. Tonight, I've set out the roadmap for the coming months. Our continued progress along that roadmap will depend on each of us group thinking about the collective. We all want to be wrapped in cotton wool. 
but that will require each of us as individuals, business owners, arts and sports officers, as friends, neighbours and families to stick to the bogus guidelines in place for the coming captivity. If we continue to denounce each other, if you continue to let us do your thinking, be vigilant, take your sacrament when your turn comes. If we continue to do all of these things, the end of the backward idea of sovereignty is within our grasp. Thank you very much. Praise God.